Geomagnetic storms warning, plural, storms. The geomagnetic storms possible tomorrow, July 23rd, when a full halo CME is expected to hit Earth's magnetic field. The storm was hurled towards Earth yesterday. That was uh, a, a fast solar flare coming in. Uh, we had two solar flares coming in in 24 hours. The first one came in from July 15. That was a slower uh, uh, running a solar flare. And the, the one yesterday coming from the sun, July 21st, is hitting us today, tomorrow. So there's two slow storms, geomagnetic storms possible tomorrow, full halo CME expected to hit us. The storm could, a uh, cloud was hurled uh, towards Earth yesterday by a solar tsunami eruption. NOAA forecasts say that it, that it would be G1, G2 class, minor to moderate. Storms are likely with a slight chance of escalating to category G3, which is strong. Exactly what time the CME will hit? The NASA model here that we're looking at of the approaching cloud pinpoints the impact within a few hours at zero UT on July 23rd. So it's at midnight. And you can see the solar flare coming out really huge. And that is in into our direction. Okay. So in the animation, Earth is marked by the yellow dot on uh, the three o'clock position, as you can see, the dot, the yellow dot. Note that Mars, the red dot, also gets hit a glancing blow on July 25th. There you go. First Earth and then Mars. Okay. So an independent NOAA model of the CME predicts a slighter later arrival with the densest part of the storm cloud reaching Earth around 4 o'clock in the morning on July 23rd UT's time. Either way, NOAA or NASA, the timing favors sky watchers in Western Europe and Northern America, North America, in the most optimistic case of a G3 category storm, auroras could descend as far south as Illinois and Oregon, geomagnetic latitude 50 degrees, during the night of July 23rd, 22nd to 23rd, that is tonight. And what is a G3 uh, uh, solar flare? The G3 strong, Power systems, voltage cor corrections may be required, false alarms triggered on some protection devices, spacecraft operations, surface charging may occur on satellite components, drag may increase on low Earth orbit satellites, and corrections may be needed for orientation problems. Other systems, intermittent satellite navigation and low frequency radio navigation problems may occur, HF radio, may be intermittent, and aurora has been seen as low as Illinois and Oregon, typically 50 degrees geomagnetic latitude. So if you want, if you have a clear sky, you can see the uh, auroras coming down as far as uh, Oregon and Michigan, Illinois, and uh, enjoy it if you do. So this is a solar tsunami, the eruption from yesterday. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. This is on space weather, and I'll leave links below for you. Thank you. Finally, support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.